Is that a leaked performance benchmark for the RX 6600 XT? Well, supposedly it is, and we're gonna talk a lot about this, but I've got some other little topics I wanna cover because I've been so busy testing a bunch of graphics settings and FSR and DLSS and a million games and RDR2 and blah. Had a lot to do recently. I feel like I've been neglecting some of my tech news side of the channel. So let's jump back to a couple important things that I wanna talk about. One is GPU pricing. I'm gonna Thanos snap myself out of existence for just a second here. Okay, so we've been seeing a very nice trend of GPU prices decreasing for the last couple of months. But it's looking like in the last couple weeks, uh, right, that is two weeks, yep, uh, we have stagnated. We are still around that 150% of MSRP. And if you're like, I can't get a card for 150% of MSRP, notice that this is at German retailers, so it's that market, and this is also the best average, the, the best prices being averaged, not the average prices being averaged, and also, it's not for any particular model, the red line is the average of best prices for the 6700 XT, 6800 XT, by the whole 6000 lineup, and the green line is the average for the whole 3000 lineup, and again, it's the average of the best prices, not the average of the average prices. You see what I mean? Anyway, so unfortunately we are still stagnating a bit, but at least we're better than we've been for the middle chunk of the year here. That's nice to see. Okay, what else do I have for you? Well, an update to direct storage, and I think this is a good one. I reported recently, along with many other people, that Windows 11 would be required for direct storage. Microsoft seems to be walking that back a bit, but not completely. So we're seeing headlines that it'll be supported in Windows 10 too, but it does not appear that that's gonna be a full performance. So what they have to say here in this article is that on Windows 11, uh, they'll have an upgraded OS storage stack that unlocks the full potential of direct storage. And on Windows 10, games will still benefit from the more efficient use of the legacy OS storage stack. So they're claiming that to get the full potential, you need Windows 11 and Windows 10 will get a benefit from direct storage. If you're like, what even is direct storage? Go watch my Windows 11 direct storage video that I may or may not remember to link in that corner of the, the screen up there. <laughs> I think I'll remember. If not, search my channel for direct storage. Okay, also with all the FSR news, this is relevant. FSR has gone open source, which now makes it not only easier for developers to add into their games, but modders too. So FSR has been added to an Assetto Corsa. Did I even pronounce that right? I don't play this game, which is why I didn't test this out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, they've added it to this, um, uh, this game, Assetto Corsa, thanks to a custom shaders patch mod. I believe this is a mod that already existed, but the mod has now been updated to include FSR as an option. I'm not gonna be able to buy this game. I just bought some games for testing. By the way, huge thank you to the people who clicked the join button on my channel. That helps me buy games and things to test out, but I don't have unlimited funds. More of you uh, clicking that button might help me be able to buy more games for testing. Anyway, so interesting, test that out. Let me know in the comments if that's a game you play and maybe you wanna test out the FSR. I do read all the comments. Let's get to the 6600 XT news. That's the big deal here. So we've got a leak here from fudzilla.com. It's according to their sources. So as always, take some grains of salt, maybe inject yourself with a whole bunch of salt. Depends on how much you wanna uh, believe this stuff. But this release date seems reasonable because I honestly expected to see these cards before now. So uh, if they're not out by August 11th, uh, come on AMD. Anyway, it's a 6600 XT and the 6600. Notice this does say launch, not announce. This is not confirmed by AMD, so take it for what it is, but he also says that so far it looks like there should be plenty of cards around, which is good to hear. No update on pricing though. We'd seen rumors that these might be priced as high as $400. I don't really believe those rumors because that just seems way too high for the MSRP when we saw the 6700 XT launching with the 479 MSRP and the competition from uh, NVIDIA, like the 5700 XT, um, you know, was already like a $400 card and the 6600 XT, I wouldn't expect to be that much better than a 5700 XT if at all. So anyway, um, I would expect it in the, in the below $300 range, hopefully closer, uh, sorry, below $400 range. That's just me speculating. Now let's get into the more interesting stuff. This is a performance benchmark. Uh, let me get out of the way here though. Um, Thanos snap, boom, there we go. 
599007 is utterly meaningless to me. This means nothing to me, guys. That means nothing to me. But we can get some more information. I found this at videocards.com. Now they're reporting on something that was linked on a d d Baidu, um, but has been removed. So I can't click that link to get the original, but luckily for us, this uh, these screenshots have been captured here. Now there's some interesting stuff here. Apparently I have screenshots of the actual card itself. Uh, here it is, supposedly. Again, grains of salt to be digested with this one. Okay, there's some screenshots of it claiming it's a 6600 XT8 gigabyte card. I mean, you could fake a sticker, but um, there it is. And we've also got some performance numbers here. But what even is this benchmark? I didn't really know, but luckily this article helps us out a little bit. This is apparently a benchmark called Ludashi which is not very commonly used outside of China, you think? I've never seen it before. Now, um, what's interesting here is how does it perform relative to other cards in the database? Because it does show some other cards here in the database. And um, so you can, you can get some numbers here. I'm assuming our highlighted performance here must be the performance that we're talking about which is placing it below this 3060 Ti, but above this one and above this 3070 Ti. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. If there's like overclocking happening, because why are we seeing 3060 Ti's above 3070 Ti's? This seems a bit strange, but again, like we do see it higher than some 3060 Ti's, higher than some 3070 Ti's. So I'm not really sure what to make of this exactly, but it is the only info that we seem to have right now. What do you guys think? I do read all the comments on my channel and I love, uh, love hearing what you all think about this. Are you excited about the 6600 XT? What price point would you actually think is reasonable for that card? You know, assuming we can ever see cards at MSRP. Thank you to all my, sub my subscribers. You are beautiful people. And I hope that everybody watching this video has an excellent day.